It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. This area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. That ain't bad. That's the Myriad Tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. Let's see. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Says they're wary of strangers. They're at war. Wonders why the Sifu would want to see you, but he'll let you in and give it a try. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the World Eaters and saving the Tree of Life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the crack in Bunker 101 has preceded you. He heard you took out of date side against the scavengers in Bunker 101. It seems you believe in helping your next, and that's something you have in common. He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. 
Hello, but it were a young guy. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense your kind hearted. The Sifu says sometimes one memory can make another come to life. He hasn't thought about your Muma for ages, even though she taught him a lot. He was one of the original Wang Fu disciples. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it consisted of unarmed combat and the six weapons, the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are rivals in all directions. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. Says there has to be some dark so that light can prove its purity above it, and promises this will happen if you help them unite the tribes, defeat the world eaters, and save the tree of life. He could only hope for you to do that, and is thankful you know what's right. That's a sign of strength. The Sifu was waiting for something to tip the balance in their favor, and with you by their side, he's confident you can unite the other tribes. The one you should coerce first is the Jagni tribe. The Myriad were placed here to fulfill a certain purpose, chosen to unite the tribes and take control of their destiny. The tribes need a firm hand guiding them into the future. Their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace have been forced to prepare for war. All the ghosts are going to hide. They might bring them war, but they'll never take away their inner peace. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Even though you don't share their values, they hope you'll lead with mercy. The outcome of this war is up to you. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu to unite their tribe with yours and let your kin share land again. They passed the point of no return as their words lost power and see no other way forward than using violence to combat violence. Seeing you brings back his memories of the old village. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. He remembers your kind and unselfish soul and can sense you still have it in you, the will to do good. Anyway, the memories you make with your family are strong and can sometimes come to life. Passing the old village on your way to the first rival outpost, even though it's now a different place from a different time, it is a place that will make you remember.
Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Let's see. As time passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's not about who you were, it's about who you'll become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long-lost past, like whispers in the wind. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. He asks how you are today. Then he wants you to know that if you find yourself going through bad times, you should just keep going. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. He understands Wang Fu is hard. That's why your Muma only has six disciples. Doing just one thing helps you get more done in less time. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. Why not? There's no better time to do what needs to be done than right now. He says, that wasn't too bad, was it? At least you learned that you'll drown if you don't swim. But you need practice, lots of practice. Great things usually happen to those who never stop trying. He hopes you'll be one of them. You just need more time in the surf. That's the only way you'll ever learn how to swim. You can never try too hard. Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. You know you can't make up for lost time. You should know, practice makes perfect. As long as it doesn't kill you, it'll only make you stronger. She'll see you at the village square. She'll be waiting for you. There will be a surprise for you at the end, too. Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. Being nice comes easy for him. That doesn't make it less important. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. He's happy to hear that from someone that's a part of the coming generation. You owe it to yourself to protect the environment. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. He wonders what usefulness you found. 
He says every little thing counts. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. He'd love to teach you to upcycle, and the scrap you found would be a good start. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. Fruit, drip, drink, typo. He believes being considerate will help you feel at peace with yourself. He understands, but hopes you won't be needing it anytime soon. He thinks mastering the six weapon styles of Wang Fu is more than enough for anyone. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. That's all she's ever asked of you. That you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Then start by meeting her on the village square and take it from there. She knows you're a free spirit, always on the move, like the wind. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. They push each other to become better, and sometimes someone gets pushed down along the way. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? She's there for all disciples. 
That's her commitment as Sifu. And when she needs them, they're there for her and each other. It's intended. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. She suggests that you forgive your enemies. Nothing annoys them more. Someone close to heart, doing what he does best? Seeing you always puts a smile on your Popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. Training with Mooma will make you feel better. It always does. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. He'll talk to her, sure, but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions and future. He suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics. He's curious to see what you found. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bio-nucleus pool and refresh his DNA. He can work wonders with pretty much anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Thinks some are and some aren't. One thing's for sure, though, your Mooma thinks it all takes up too much space in the house. He says it's about time you learned how and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but it looks sharp on you. He knows she's already proud of you and everything you've achieved so far. You should take it with you, wear it to practice. He's sure your Mooma will forgive you for not wearing the traditional outfit. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. Your Mooma says it's about time you got here. Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work really hard. She says she is eager to get started. You don't have much time left before the sun goes down. But there's enough time left for repetition and you need it. Training dummies don't hit back. 
Carnaval do Ouro. Wants you to prove that with some practice first. Your Mooma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Thanks you for being such a good student. Been working on a present for you, with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. You should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Says he's always thought so well of you, just like her. Your Mooma says she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. Figuring that out is half the fun. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old-world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. You should think of it as watching over you when she can't. Your Mooma says you look tired. No wonder, it's been a long day. She's so happy you made the most of it. Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. <sighs> Nothing could stop Mukamukin from setting the world on fire. Your Mooma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Mooma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. There's nowhere to run to this time. The time has come to stand and fight. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. She tells you to stay back. This is her fight. It has nothing to do with you. History has finally caught up with her. She had a life before you were born, you know. Darker and less fun. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present.
You must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Numa says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. The tribe's caught a fluffy hulk. Better watch out, it's no pet. They couldn't keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose.
Pau yo jo no kite mo ja ja hupi kodo. Repana kidai never shun te ba. You gave them no choice but to take it down. Even dola suma la me dola su. You legen kol ma me belle pe. They've received news a Ronin had strengthened their ranks and were looking forward to meeting. Ne jo he do Pau. A group of myriad crusaders already headed out to Jagni's Mercadorpus outpost and are waiting for you there. You should hurry there and help them best the outpost. You complete them. From this point on, the myriad is up. Better not keep the crusaders wait. Look, an emergency box from the old days. Wow, bet that nut makes a tight fist. Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old Toxanol brick towns. Pay attention. The Toxanol Corporation made this place and then just threw it away when they were done with it. Well, small ones. Places like this were cheap back in those days and there was plenty of space get done with one place, you just build another. There must be a track somewhere in this brick town.
good thing the forest trees don't have monsters gnawing their roots. This corner of the world is called Bricktown. Let's see. 